Sick sinus syndrome, huh? Well, this is a little bit of a niche topic, but because it's heart related, you know I'm gonna love talking about it, and I promise I will keep it pretty simple. So let's lead them into it, Piscotti. <laughs> The first thing you have to know before we talk about actual sick sinus syndrome is every single thing that happens in your heart, everything your heart does happens because of two things. Number one, electrical impulses going through the heart, and number two, changes in electrolyte concentrations. Now for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna talk about the electrical impulses. Inside the heart, there are these two bundles of cells that we call nodes. The first one's called the SA or the sinus node, and the second one's called the AV node. Now the sinus node is the real powerhouse here. It's what we call the primary pacemaker and it is responsible for starting the signal that tells the entire rest of the heart what to do. So you can kind of think of it a little bit like a drill sergeant. Now with that in mind, it should make sense that when we say sick sinus syndrome, what's happening is the sinus node is essentially just sick. <laughs> and it's not doing its job and telling the heart to beat appropriately. And when the sinus node is sick and not doing its job appropriately, other parts of the heart will step up to try and keep the heart on pace, but they don't do as good of a job. And this condition is predominantly idiopathic, meaning we don't actually find an underlying reason. Some pets with sick sinus syndrome are asymptomatic even though they have the condition, but for those that are symptomatic, the clinical signs are gonna be related to the heart not beating appropriately. Even though we will usually recommend a whole bunch of different tests to try and find a reason for sick sinus syndrome, we diagnose this condition with an ECG or a heart rhythm strip. Pets that have very mild cases of sick sinus syndrome and that are asymptomatic usually don't require any treatment, but for those that are clinical for it, unfortunately the only way to treat this condition is with a pacemaker. 